see. Somebody just asked me something really good. Oh, okay, Jason, being that 2178 is 138 years after 2040, could it be that 2178 is the last reset? Very good thinking. This is Dennis Simmons. I personally believe that 2178 Anno Domini is the collapse of the simulacrum itself. It is the freedom. He came to set the captives free. He arrives in 2106 to finish the Great Pyramid motif. He's done. The Great War of Armageddon and all that. But after the Great War of Armageddon, there is 138 year period. In the holography, this matches the, the uh, 1,656 years of the pre-flood period. The reason it matches that is because 138 years is 1656 months. Exactly. That's another thing I need to do a video on. How many, how many events in the ancient world were measured in, in lunations, in months? And the numbers that, that show up between these events is astonishing. So, 2106 is the year 6,000 since 3895 BC when Phoenix created a devastation so total that the survivors considered it year one of an entirely new world. They called it a new heavens and a new earth. And they called it year one. This was year one of the 1656 years of the pre-flood vapor canopy world. It was caused by Phoenix. The, the civilization that was on this rock before that was 930 years old. And it was an Anuna civilization. And it was completely obliterated. Gone. This is the true meaning behind the whole Eden, the whole, gen the whole Genesis, uh, the whole uh, first and, and second chapter of Genesis, the creation event. The creation event was in six stages. In the seventh day, God entered a rest. But it was just a Jewish copy of the older Babylonian Enuma Elish text, which shows that the creation event was from the great appearance of a sky dragon called Tiamat. Tiamat was seven heads, and that the seven stages of creation were seven different tablets. But the Jews, con they had condensed all this material into two chapters, into, into the creation of day event being seven days instead of seven stages. But uh, yeah, they just borrowed it from the Babylon and changed it like they do everything. Definitely not originals of anything, but they're really good copyists, as long as they're changing it to, to, to their advantage.